I am at Epcot for the opening day of Food and Wine Festival. I'm all by myself because Veronica's parents are in town, so she wants to spend some time with her. But I decided I'd skip over here, check out all the nifty new stuff, and give you guys some pointers and some tips to prepare you if you decide to come to Food and Wine because it is crazy. Food and Wine is absolutely one of the most popular events at Disney World. So a couple pointers definitely won't hurt you. So let's go do this. And my first stop every single year is actually Food and Wine Festival Center because I absolutely love this building. And it's very often that I get to come in here and see it. And there's so much going on. Cooking shows, food sampling, free chocolate. That's right, free chocolate, I said it. Definitely a lot to take in. This may not be a tip, but you should always grab a Food and Wine Festival guide just so you can plan out where you're gonna go and also so you don't miss anything because not everything is in World Showcase. They're all over the place. Even in Future World, there's some stands. So make sure you pick up one of these nifty little things. And look at that, a little cooking show happening right now with some tasting. Looks like it's pretty good there, yum, 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 yum. Let's get some free stuff. I mean, I already got my Walt Disney World annual pass holder magnet that's probably gonna get stolen off my car. But, you know, I guess that's the risk I take for putting it on my car. But now, a little pit of Ghirardelli chocolate. Oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Thank you. No problem. Yum, 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 yum. My another big tip here is always get a gift card. It is so much easier just to buy one of these, load it up with money, and then instead of going throughout World Showcase with a water money or your credit card and pulling your wallet in and out and swiping it, you just attach this to your wrist, swipe, and then bada bing. Much easier. Well, now that I showed you the tip about the gift card, let's show you some things you can buy with that gift card, like exclusive food and wine merchandise, and they have a lot of nifty awesome stuff. I'm already feeling like I need to purchase something and that's very rare, very, very rare. This little baby caught my eye instantly. Look at this. Taste your way around the world 2018. And these prints are actually only $24.99, but that is pretty awesome. Also, these brews around the world signs are pretty awesome too. And look, I, I don't know if you can or you can't. It is $39.99, but wouldn't it be cool to put little bottle caps inside here? I think you can. I think that's what it's made for. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. Look, they even have a little thing there. Wow. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, we got some hats, some bags, some shirts, a little bit of Slender Man. And it's amazing. I like this shirt a lot. But those new Epcot food and wine ears, uh-huh. I bet you Yip's gonna be eyeing those up. Here's a breakdown of the daily events happening at the Festival Center. 11.15 a.m., a beverage seminar, a culinary demonstration, another beverage seminar, and then mix it, make it, celebrate it. That sounds pretty fun. Mix it, make it, celebrate it. Dun, dun, dun. That's $39. Ooh. 
I'm definitely gonna say this is gonna be very popular this year. A mimosa bar. That is pretty awesome. Mimosas all the way around. Not really, not really. Look at this. Tropical mimosa, key lime mimosa, blood orange mimosa, frozen mimosa, all six dollars. And a frozen apple yes, pie. There we go. Oh, thank you. Pretty so much. nifty. Also we I'm gonna make my way back out into the sun just so I can get a little start on World Showcase. Because they got nifty stuff there. This is something also cool to point out. They put out this little playground on fruit and wine. So it's a little bit funner for the kids. Isn't it nifty though? Yip would definitely be in there. Playing around, hopping around, rolling around in the mulch. Okay, one more thing before we head into World Showcase itself. Before you get in there, try to use the bathroom somewhere in Future World because some of the bathrooms in the World Showcase actually are very small. It gets very crowded, lines back up. I've noticed some of the restrooms have a longer line than some of the kiosks. I've seen it before, trust me. So try to stop before you get in there. It'll save you a lot of time. I'm telling you, trust me. And here we are, the start. This is a very important choice. Either start that way or start that way. If you go that way towards Mexico, I noticed that the boots or kiosks are a little bit less at the start, like there's space in between them. But if you start that way, the kiosks and the boots are kind of glunched up together a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like immediately as soon as you take that turn, you got one sitting right there and then another one right there. So if you're looking for a very fast start, go that way. If you want to take it slow and steady and then speed up at the end, go that way. I'm gonna take it slow and steady actually and head towards Mexico. I'm not gonna show you all the food um, I might stop and get a couple of things, but I kind of just wanted to check it all out today uh, I don't think I have the time or the resources actually on me without Yip here to actually be able to stop and go through the menu That will happen eventually, but today it's kind of a just a walkthrough overview Scope things out a little bit Look at Daisy all decked out in her food and wine costume. Oh, I love Daisy actually. One of my favorite things about food and wine is literally the smells. Everywhere you go, just beautiful smells, smells amazing, makes you hungry. Right now I'm standing outside the Thailand kiosk and all I'm gonna do is stand here and just sniff the air for a little bit. I'm not gonna buy anything. Or maybe I might get the marinated chicken, I don't know. But the smells are just good enough for me. I'll tell you what though, for opening day, the lines are not that bad. I know there was a little rain earlier and that might have deterred a couple people away, but I've seen the first three kiosks on the way over to Mexico and there has been less than 15 to 20 people in line, which is actually very good for fruit and wine. Another cool thing is don't be afraid to try new things. You know, you see things on menus like, I would never actually go in and dive into something with cucumber tomato salad. But since I've been coming to Food & Wine a lot, I'll give everything a shot. You never know, you might love it. Fun fact, in fact, I actually tried salmon for the first time at Fruit & Wine. Never had salmon my whole life and I tried it at Fruit & Wine for the first time. There you go. Another big pro tip, stay hydrated people. It gets very hot, a lot of alcohol can be consumed here. So don't forget to stop at some of these outposts, get yourself a free cup of water and you know, stay hydrated. You don't want anybody passing out, anyone getting too intoxicated and climbing Mexico. And don't forget, not only food and wine happening at the Food and Wine Festival, lots of awesome art. One of Yip's favorite is Whiskers and Wine. We have two of these paintings. Actually, one of them they made for little Rita, and they, uh, the lady actually colored out the eye because Rita's blind in one eye. But lots of good artwork here at Food and Wine. You have to make sure you check out those boots. You'll definitely come home with something. Another cool little thing I like to point out is always oh, stake out a nice quiet place to get away from the crowds and this is one of my favorite spots. I don't know why a lot of people don't come over here but every time I come here it's beautiful, 
it's quiet and there's hardly anybody ever over here isn't it amazing just look at those views breathtaking huh I have to say, even though I'm alone and I don't have Veronica or my better half with me today, I have ran into so many people, it makes me feel like I'm not alone. I feel like I'm, you know, with a group of friends. Even though it's only for brief moments and then I keep walking on, it's just great to know that there's people out there that I know or that know me and that, you know, get stop and talk and hang out for a little bit. Awesome. I have to block out thoughts of you so I don't lose my mind. That's right guys, Blue October, Eat to the Beat concert series. They have all these, all year or all festival long, some awesome people, Blue October, the Baja men. I don't know why I put that in that order, but they do have some awesome people. Awesome concerts, free, doesn't cost anything. Just gotta get here early to get some good seats. They do have some dinner packages and they do three shows a night. I always like the latest one at eight o'clock because the lights are pretty and then right afterwards you can head on over and watch Illuminations. Another thing I like to do when I'm actually at Food and Wine is I like to take a break and I feel like the American Pavilion is the perfect center mark to take a break. And usually I sit down, watch American Adventure, or actually just go into American Adventure because the AC is banging in there. Like it is hitting you right in the face. And it's a good way to cool, relax, reset, recharge, and just keep on going. And I have personally seen somebody bathing in here one time. Well, I mean, they weren't bathing, but they were all the way in, head and everything. Man, I wish they invented something like smell vision on YouTube because it would be so great to capture the smells. I mean, we can capture the sights, the sounds, the colors, but we haven't been able to get the smells in there. Oh, man, can you imagine a video where you can actually just smell your way around fruit and wine? It would be unbelievable. Well, I figured I'd give you a little bit of a crowd shout of like how busy the crowds actually are and uh, I guess I'll do like a time-lapse of me walking through one of the busiest corridors actually and that'll start right about I'd say now Belgium always seems like it is so very popular. I don't know if it's the waffles or the flights of beer. I can't decide because I like them both actually, but that is the longest line I've actually seen all day long here at Food and & Wine. And it's not even that long. That's the best part of it. Out of all the things I have tried at Food & Wine, the croissant aux escargot probably was the worst for me personally. I remember I tried it last year and at first I thought it was good. All I did was taste croissant, but escargot is just not for me. That clip was hilarious though. I seen this awesome display right here and I noticed they didn't have any PhotoPass people here, but there's a guest starring PhotoPass person. Look at Jenna. She's taking all the photos for everybody. She even took my photo. I don't know. Let's see. What do you think? It looks good. <laughs> Way to go, Jenna. <laughs> and always be on the lookout for Character Palooza. Can happen at any time. Wait till you see all these awesome character meet and greets. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Look at this. Winnie the Pooh out in Epcot. Awesome. Rafiki. Yes. Oh, man. King Louie. Oh, this is so awesome. It's so great when you actually just walk out and been like, hey, wow, they even have Donald and Mickey. 
What? Donald and Mickey out and about here. That's pretty amazing. So we're gonna get a little meet and greet with Rafiki here. Oh, look at him. Look at King Louie shaking it over there. Rafiki, can you show me the way? Rafiki, can show you the way? <laughs> oh, you know it's true. We have the same hairstyle. <laughs> Same hairstyle, look at that. So the only thing about this surprise character Palooza, no photo pass. No photo pass? No, this is just a surprise. That was Yes! It's a Winnie the Pooh surprise! It's a happy poo! And check this out. Ran into some friends here. Oh hey, there's some more friends. <laughs> It's my and <laughs> they are doing Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak, and they're almost, almost done. There. Almost there. Almost done. And they get that cool week. souvenir glass, they said. Yep, yeah. really cool. There's four different ones you can pick from. Three and how much three. is it? $7.99 for the yep. map? And then pass orders, it's like $5.20. That's not too bad. How did I know that it was $7.99? I didn't even read that anywhere. <laughs> it's like muscle memory. <laughs> it's a really common price at Disney. I guess you're right. I can't believe I made it a whole lap around already. And you know, fun fact, I really didn't show any food or try any food. I'm gonna save that for when Veronica's with me because it's something I think I wanna do together, you know? That's something me and her, we always look forward to. Whenever we vacation, we always came down, food and wine. And uh, I don't know, something I wanna keep as a tradition. So I will wait. Look at all this. This is a cool area to hang out. If you're gonna start going towards the France side, this is awesome as a good starter spot. They have wine and dine. They have a whole bunch of different cheese studio, the chocolate one, very cool, very fancy. And it's not too bad to enjoy a snack in this, well, I wish that was covered, but it's not. So I was gonna say shade, but there's absolutely no shade here at all. Not a single drop of shade. Someone's eating some chocolates. <laughs> I waited for this monorail shot. Yep. Beautiful. I think they're doing an ending. I think that's what's happening right here. Go check out WWE couple. They put out awesome content every week. They're incredible. Over there, you got some next generation eats. Next gen eats. And then right over there, you can see we got some next gen roller coasters. Guardians of the Galaxy building, peeking over the top of Mouse Gears. Very interesting. Well, I think it is time to head home. Uh, just did a quick walk around Epcot, World Showcase, checked out the food and wine. Hope some of the things I gave you were helpful. You never know. So love the life you live. Live the life you love. That was creepy. I didn't even know that was happening. <laughs> Not even lying. <laughs> Toodaloo. I'm racing a monorail. I am racing a monorail. The monorail's winning. The monorail's winning. Oh man.